Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what spirit wants you to know. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what spirit wants you to hear. So I've already pulled some cards here. I've already picked up on an energy. Whoever I'm picking up on today, there's somebody that is constantly thinking about you at the moment. Um, They're very disappointed in themselves. This is somebody that they never took a chance, okay? They had some type of chance or opportunity with you and they never took it. And this person, they really do regret this decision. They feel embarrassed. Um, they literally feel like this is somebody that feels like they cannot express their emotions no matter what they do. They fail to kind of express their emotions. They come off very nonchalant, right? But they're actually not like that, right? I just mean one, one, one. They're actually very sensitive and very emotional. But this is somebody that hides that with everything that they have, okay? They do not like to show, I just mean one, two, three. They do not like to show their emotions, right? Their emotions scare them. This is somebody that has been taught to hide their emotions. And... That's what they've been doing here with you. And they really regret it. I just mean one, four, three. This person literally loves you. They literally love you. Their feelings are very deep here. But the thing is, you would never know because they haven't told you about it. And they really regret not doing anything about this connection. I just mean 202. Now, this is somebody that... It feels like this is like dead energy. I just mean two, one, two. It feels like you may think that you will never hear from this person again. Or you may even think that there's no connection here with this person. I just mean two, two, two. Maybe you get signs about this person. But their actions in the 3D, they tend to avoid you altogether. I'm not even getting that this person make any effort to speak to you they find it easier to avoid you they find it easier to not speak to you this person it's almost like they pretend you don't exist but they can't really okay now in the 3d to you they make no effort like literally no effort there's no communication, there's nothing, right? But they get a lot of signs about you and they actually have a lot of deep emotion for you. This person, they're dealing with a lot of internal issues. Um, this is somebody that seems to... There could be a lot of childhood stuff here going on with this person that's affecting them. They seem to be very unhealed and they don't seem to be at peace with their inner child. Um, they also don't be, don't seem to be at peace with their emotion, right? This is somebody that spends a lot of time trying to hide their true emotions and trying to come off. I just mean 404. Completely different to who they truly are. Again. They're somebody that's sensitive. They're actually very emotional. They're very, like, for the people that they love, they're very protective. They just really, you know, they're a very sensitive person. But not many people see this side of this person, if anyone, right? They like to put on this very tough, demeanor okay they like to kind of act tough and act like you know nonchalant like they don't care about anything nothing really fainting them they don't have emotion then leo energy here and then sagittarius energy right 
Then Orco, Scorpio, and Taurus. Yeah, so this is somebody that they have missed an opportunity because they didn't speak up. They had a chance to, wow. Okay, so the way that this person's hiding their whole feeling and this connection and it's almost like um, they're not just trying to hide it from you, they're trying to hide it from somebody else as well. There's somebody around them that suspects that I just mean 555. That they have feelings for you. This is somebody that knows them really well. Like a family member or a friend that has known them their whole life. Um, but it feels like you bring out their emotions. Like you really bring out their emotional side. When they're around you, when they're speaking about you. This person cannot hide the way they feel. It's almost like they're very good. Don't get me wrong. They're very good at acting. Like they're very good at kind of fooling other people. But this one person really knows this person, okay? And when it comes to you, they cannot hide it. They have such deep emotion here for you. And the fact that they're trying to hide it, it almost comes off very obvious. Um, now, whoever I'm picking up on here, they're starting to get physical issues, okay? Um, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but I am getting that for some of you, this person dealing with liver issues, and I keep picturing somebody with, like, really yellow eyes, um, and that reminds me of liver issues, so it's like this person dealing with liver issues, um, they may have, like, pain in the liver, or they may actually have some type of liver disease or something, um, and this is because Liver is all about anger, okay? This person may be very anger, angry, sorry. Um, they may be very angry, they may be very they may have they may have like violent outburst and I just think eight oh eight. They it feels like they can't really control their anger, but it's also about suppressed emotions. Um and this is somebody that that's definitely something that they do with any type of emotion. But it really, them hiding their emotion for you, it is really unhealthy for them to be real, okay? This person hiding their emotions in general is very unhealthy, but... For some of you, it's manifesting into liver issues. This is somebody that they have been too focused on all the wrong things. Um, They have made a lot of bad decisions in their life and there needs to be a change but you're dealing with somebody that they're very stubborn, they're very set in their way. Um, they don't see an issue with the way that they're living, they don't see an issue with Pretending that they don't have emotions and hiding all their feelings. Even though it is. It 
get to them, but they don't show it. But this person as well, they refuse to be alone, as you've seen 1010. This is somebody that's constantly surrounding themselves with other people, trying to distract themselves. Um, to be real, they are running from their own emotions. They don't feel like they can really handle it. They don't feel like they can handle being alone right now. This is somebody that's been distracting themselves from their feelings for so long. This is somebody that they don't face their emotions, they don't allow their emotions to come up or to be heard or to be seen. Instead, they just distract themselves, okay? They're always with people. Um, this person cannot be alone. But for some of you, they are forced to be alone at the moment and they are facing their feelings, okay? For some of you, as I mentioned, they actually could be unwell and they're going through a period of healing. Now, they may not realise that their liver issue or whatever issue that they're dealing with, um, for whoever I'm picking up on, like the liver issue, they don't get that it's coming from more of a spiritual place. Um, but I do see this person healing. Um, they could be seeing doctors or something like that. And I do see them spending a lot of time alone. And a lot of time thinking about this connection and to you and how they have ruined any opportunity to be with you. They feel like they have ruined everything, like they literally have made all the wrong decisions. Um, they're embarrassed, okay? There's a lot of embarrassment surrounding this person and also this person got caught they got caught looking into you or they got caught looking you up on social media. Then somebody here caught them watching you on social media or looking up information about you. So there's somebody around them that definitely knows how they feel, but you don't know. And this person, they refuse to tell you. It's not even in... It's not in their character. It's not in the character that they have built. Right? If they were to tell you their emotions, admit their feelings, admit their emotions to you, the way that that would be so far off character for this person, I just think 13, 33. Like, this is the type of person that, um, if they started being romantic or if they started, like, confessing their emotions, people around them might think there's something wrong with them. Because they have spent so long building this character that is completely opposite to who they truly are. This character is so... It's almost like they have built this character to hide all of their true authentic feelings and characteristics, right? So, as I mentioned, there's somebody that is actually very sensitive, okay? This character, though, would portray somebody that is very... the opposite of sensitive, okay? Just very, like... almost tough and emotionless. Um, or, you know, this person, again, they're very loving. But this character that they've built is almost hateful. It's almost... They don't like anyone, okay? They don't have emotions, 
right? So it's like the person that they play, the character that they have built, is so opposite and so far from who they truly are. But if I'm being real with you guys, they are locked in this character. Like, they identify with this character. They don't identify with their true self. They have spent so many years and so long trying to kill off their true self and hide their true self um, and replace it with the literal opposite to who they truly are. So it's like this person doesn't even know who they are. They do things for other people's validation. And you... It's like... They don't really know what to do, if I'm being real. They don't know what to do here. Because they feel like... They get all these signs about you and they feel such comfort. They, like, they literally love you. Like, they literally cannot hide their emotion. I mean, they've been hiding their emotions, but they love you so much. And it's like, they're constantly checking on you. They're constantly thinking about you. They regret all their actions here and they're embarrassed. Um, but they also, this person's issue is they're too worried about what other people think. The people around them. They're so worried about what these people think about them. And they're so scared of looking out of character. There's also somebody that, I mean, that knows them well and they know that they love you. Right? And it's almost like they don't even know what to do. Because they know this person's right, but they don't even want to admit it. Again, it's really out of character. So it's like this person right now, they're really unhappy. They're really unhappy. It's really getting to them. They feel like they haven't done enough. They haven't treated you the way that you deserve. They look at you as somebody that's so strong and resilient. They really do admire it. They also feel like... Nobody compared to you. Literally nobody compared to you. I mean, you're somebody that has a lot of value. You're somebody that is very high value. And this person, they feel like they can't offer you what you deserve. But they, it's almost like they won't even try. They're very intimidated by you. Because when I say that you are somebody that is so resilient... Somebody that is so independent. Somebody that really just... People admire you. Because you are really on top of everything, okay? There's almost nothing that you cannot have, okay? And you embody so many unique traits about you. Like, you are so unique and you are so powerful. And whatever you put your mind to, you will get it. This person's intimidated. You are also known for being real, like really real and authentic, which they cannot relate. They cannot relate and they cannot say that they relate because they can't, okay? This person is so fake. I mean, their whole persona and character and what they put on and what they portray, that's fake, right? They're not comfortable with their authentic self. I just need 1919. So, they're not... I keep hearing Calvin. Actually, before, when I was getting ready for this reading, I was hearing Calvin before. Um, so, let me know if that resonates. But it's like this person... They feel like... To be honest, you're not on the same... Vibration... Um, you're somebody that's very authentic and real. They're somebody that's so fake and they just put on this fake persona. They don't know who they really are. They don't know because they forgot because they have spent so long 
hiding it. Okay? One thing about you, though, is you really do tend to bring them back to their inner truth. And you do inspire them to want to become a better person. But their reputation, they have this reputation. And they have also made their impression. Okay? And your impression of them is not too good because of the way that they act. And the way that they act... I mean, they know, that's the thing about this person, is they purposely act this way, because they don't want to come off emotional, they don't want to come off as sensitive, they literally purposely act in this manner. It's like a defense mechanism, okay? They may have created it when they were younger, but they can't relate to you until they face themselves. You literally came into this person's life and they cannot forget you and they keep getting signs about you and you are the catalyst here to their healing. I just mean 21, 21. But the thing is, they will always be drawn to you, but they need to do the healing. They need to meet their true self. They need to allow their emotions to come out. This is somebody that they're sabotaging themselves. They're ruining their reputation. Or they have already ruined it. Um, this is somebody with a player reputation. They have... It's like they're known to be a cheater. Or they're known to be unloyal. Or just like date around type of thing. They have this player energy and they know it. They have a really bad reputation. Um, you're so opposite. You have a great reputation. People love you. And you really... There's somebody else for you. Somebody that is on your level. Okay? On your vibration. Somebody that is loyal and wants to look after you. This person, though, I mean, their true self, you resonate with their true self, the one that they hide, the one that they don't allow to come out. You resonate with that. They don't allow that to come out, though. So, like, you don't resonate with this um, fake persona they've got. This person needs to tell you the truth. They need to express their emotions. Um, them not expressing their emotions is sabotaging themselves. This is the thing. I don't think this person's going to express their emotions. This is somebody that... They have hurt a lot of people and they've told a lot of lies and everything is hitting them at once. But this is somebody that could literally be in the most painful situation and they will just be like, it's fine. Like, look look at this card, it says everything is fine, right? They will literally, they'll go through the hardest situation. They'll be in so much pain emotionally, physically, whatever. And again, they want to be so strong. They want to come off as resilient, okay? So it's like, they will just act like they're fine. And they will distract themselves at the same time. So again, this person missed their opportunity. Actually, they had two opportunities here and they missed both. And... Again, they need to express their emotions, not because this may go anywhere. I'm getting that there's somebody else that aligns with you better that's, you know, coming. Um, or you may already know them. But this person, they need to express their emotions for their own good. Because it's really affecting them. 
they feel like this is something that they've left unsaid and you know it's on their chest and they're always thinking like what if I said this what if I did this like it's really playing with them so it's like this person here they need to express their emotion for their own good but I do see themselves kind of sabotaging themselves this person has a habit of sabotaging everything in their life right if it's good they'll sabotage it they are somebody that is so angry so angry at themselves and I'm also getting that they can't face you they feel like they cannot face you again you bring out these emotions that they cannot control it's almost like they can't be their character around you you see right through them and it really scares this person so it's like they can't face you you came into this person's life to help them you met them at the time that you met them to hopefully help them and to drag them out of a really dark place unfortunately this person turned their back on this they missed this opportunity they did not go for it and they regret it every single day but it's them choosing the darkness this is somebody that they it's almost like they could maybe they're like they worship satan or something because i'm getting somebody that's like very dark um and i'm also getting somebody that is in the darkness and you were sent to kind of pull them out of the darkness out of a bad spot and it, they didn't take it okay they did not take it at all and now they've gone back to their old way they even seem to be darker than before to be honest um this person I'm also getting when they are around you they deal with a lot of chest pain like they deal with a lot of like heart pain they are so closed off from their heart chakra that when they're around you you start opening up their heart chakra and it manifests into physical pain because they just are not used to that feeling right so that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next reading.